It's simple, really. Great stories with a good cup of tea. It's the Tea with Mike show. Tea with Mike fans, on this episode, uh, Jake joined the show. Uh, the themes of the show um, was uh, simplicity, uh, staying true to who we are. Uh, there was another cool tea fact. Uh, so grab a cup of tea, uh, sit back, and enjoy. But anyways, um, so sorry for changing that right there. The podcast. The reason that I'm not doing podcasts is because I realized I like connection one-on-one -on -one with a person. So I would do podcasting if I had someone with me in the room or oh. if I had a video camera or if I'm in a room. I just realized I don't like just talking to, like, like just having headphones, big jumbo headphones in my ears. And just talking to nothing. It's like, what? Where is everyone? I don't know. It's just, it's weird to me in a way for myself. It's just, it doesn't really, I don't feel the juice, you know, when you don't feel the juice, it's like, eh. Okay. So, so I know, I know you do it on your Instagram stories, but why? I think you should consider um, doing more as social media lives and talking to different people like, because I, I I know that's that's how I saw you when we were when you were talking to Jill, right? So yeah. and if you did that, you'd still you, you could ignore that you at the beginning you could ignore the comments and really focus in on on the particular person you were talking to. So so we all, like we do like we're doing here because you said you prefer to see someone physically than like to t talk to them on a phone call or, or, yeah. or that type of thing. So I think you, I think you should consider that because I think over time, uh, it will really uh, resonate with uh, different types of people. Totally, and I appreciate that. Thank you for the advice and the encouragement on that. And uh, I'm, I'm an open book, right? I'm always ready to try something new. So when I, when I know it's the right time, I will do it. But when's the, but when's the right time? This is this is a, this is an interesting. It's not up to me. It's not up to me. <laughs> I, I I don't live my life for myself. <laughs> we we definitely have different perspectives uh, okay. Okay. On, 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 on that one. That's okay. Well, well, but truly, but truly, let's talk. Let's hash it out. With, well, what is real ultimately s s stopping stopping you from jumping in and taking the risk? No, I have a connection with the Holy Spirit. So when I'm doing something, I get a feeling and uh, it's 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 out of this world. And uh, he talks to me and I know when I know when he's telling me to do something and when he's not. And the closer I get to him, the more I can hear him better. Um, I'm talking about Jesus and uh, and the Holy Ghost. So the Holy Ghost is on Earth though right now. Um, and he's like basically, uh, not a messenger, but it kind of, it's like, he does, they work together, right? There's the Holy ghost, there's Jesus and there's God and they all are one. Um, but so yeah, like, that's what I mean. It's like this book that I'm writing, it wasn't like, literally I, it, it, it's like, imagine me throwing you in a hot tub, right. And turning the volume all the way up with the jets. See the Holy ghost is able to do that to us and people that don't uh ask for don't um have understanding of who jesus is they don't feel it because they have see he's waiting around the corner for them and uh the moment that they, they turn to him he's so excited to share his love with them and uh and then they it's like you learn when he speaks to you so now it's like it's basically like i'm a glove right and jesus is the hand so do you get that kind of it's like so literally it's like I, I understand the analogy from like yeah. your beliefs. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Cool, cool. Um and uh so it's like I don't do anything that is for my own I I, I don't do anything that's only for me. That's what I can say. Do you know what I mean? It's like like I I won't do anything that isn't helping other people. But, anymore but, but there you go but but but, it, but like i just explained but because of all the other reasons that i gave through the, uh, throughout us like talking you would be helping other people no and no so <laughs> the podcast thing i totally see what you're saying and that would help people 
and the all, podcast. All, all social media lives, which which which, which oh, I, I would love to do social media lives. Uh, <laughs> you know, all all I'm saying is there's a time and there's a place. That's all I'm saying. And the time and the place is not up to me. That's all I'm saying. But you're totally right about the podcasting and. Uh, I know it'll come. The time will come, I'm sure, because I felt it. And I've been told by several people so far that I should try it out. Um, but that's up to him, right? And then if he tells me, then I'm going to be doing it. So, yeah. <laughs> I know, it's probably weird. You're all like, what the heck? This guy's a weirdo. But no, I don't think you're weird. I understand that you, that you, have, a, you have a different uh, perspective and way of looking at things compared to me. Yeah, yeah. But, but but surely whatever perspective you live in, I understand that the, the circumstances and and time, uh, I guess, have to have to line up, and over time it'll happen. But do 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 you ever think if you stay with that perspective, sometime uh, you may delay taking a positive action? Oh, that's a good one. That's a good question. You know, that's really good. Um, see, it could look to others that I'm closed minded in certain areas. It could look like that. Um, but it's not though. See, the thing is, is when you know who God is, you understand that he's everywhere and he watches everything and he knows exactly what's going on ever. He's everywhere. Um, so it's like, I, if I don't feel in my heart that it's the next step, then I'm not going to rush into it because that obviously I'm not called to do that yet. That's all I'm saying. So I could make a podcast right now, but if I don't have uh, the proper, uh, it's basically like if I don't have Jesus working through me during that podcast, then like, what is it, right? It's like, it's not as, it's, like I said, like, it's uh, when I look happy and I'm being nice to people, when I'm being nice to people, that's not me. I'm just allowing the God to shine through me. It's really crazy, but it's true. But that's the thing, though, is we all are gentle, nice spirits, but we just hide that, right? And I've allowed God to, and then he just lets it out. And he comes in, too, because he's connected with us. He's part of in our temple, our body. So let's say yeah. All right. Uh, okay. Well, uh, we'll leave that that particular line like right there. So I so I the, when the circumstances and the environment lines up, then we will we may, we'll see uh, future po- projects that and um, showcase you in your best light. There you go. Um. So, so but the very last thing on that particular topic. How, how do you apply that same principle then uh, to like acting and certain roles that you may or not play in the uh, future? And if let's say three directors present you with different opportunities, well, I'm curious to know based off your perspective and what you just told me and based yeah. off what we were just talking about, like how you made that decision, the decision making process. Oh cool, yeah. So Exactly. That's really well said there. See, now this is the crazy part to actually say it. So it's like when it comes to a role now, now, see, before it was different, but now that I've given my life to the Lord, when it comes to a role, I only choose the role that God thinks is right for me. Right. And that's only if he puts, here's the thing, Mike, I would sacrifice my whole acting career for God. I would put it all in a little box. I know I love it. I know I love it so much, but you know, I look more at the bigger picture where eternal life is more important than a temporary life. So if I don't got roles coming my way that God's going to use me through those roles, then I'm not going to get a role at the time. And you know, he will, obviously he can use people in different ways. Um, but, and say if I'm on set, right. It's like, okay. if we're co or, or we both are actors, you know, when we're connecting, when we're offset, um, the connection we have, right. That's like, like, uh, positive, uh, energy in the air that, um, 
So it's like, I'm still doing my work because see, I'm, I'm always going to encourage people and, and build them up and make them feel special because they are, it's the truth. And uh, people don't get reminded this enough. So it's like, wherever I am now, Mike, I'm going to always be doing God's work. That's what I can say, wherever I am. Okay, so then answer, answer this one. Do, do you or do you not uh, believe in uh, good luck, karma, and good fortune, all of those sorts of analogies? Good question. Um, so, no, I don't, no. And it's not that I'm coming against anyone. See, here's the thing. I come with love. I'm all about love where you can believe what you want. That's okay. Um, so, you know, I've believed many different things in my life before, right? But now I've stuck to one thing. I know for a fact I'll die for it. Um, and we all should believe, we all should die for what we believe in, okay? That's one thing I can say. But be careful to know for sure what you're believing in first because after you die, that person is there to pick you up. So if you believe in, in uh, if you don't want to live with God and then you die, your spirit, there's demons ready to drag you down to hell. If you want to believe in God and you give your life to the Lord, when you die, you go to heaven, right? And um, so karma and all those things, see, it's that's the thing is like, that's the trickery of it. It's all trickery, right? It's even like uh, fear. See, fear, people think fear could be a mindset that's distracting you, but fear is actually demons right? The devil created fear. And if you think about it, when Hitler, see Hitler was working for the devil and uh, a long time ago, he put this frequency in the air, right? And it affected us in a, in a negative way. So the devil's always trying to get us. That's what I can say. And so just be careful what you hear with karma and all that. Uh, life is a lot more simpler than it has to be. That's what I can say. Life is simple. People just, most people make it complicated. Like I used to myself, it's simple, really is. That's why I have to right. say about that. That's probably that's what you just said was probably the thing that like was the most was the most clear uh, to me based off what I believe in and my perspective. Or at the end of the day, no matter what what you believe in, there's lots of terms bouncing around that at the end of the day probably don't mean a whole lot. And it's just how your mind thinks. Um, it's it's basically it comes down to um, keeping life keeping things simple. And then if you keep things simple, you've got the best chance to experience positive uh, interactions and in environments around you. Mm -hmm, totally. Yeah. And you know, how, 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 however you think that c comes into play, if you keep things simple and you cut out the things that are negatively impacting oh. you, whatever they may be. So, oh. so that, that portion, I, I agree with you on. Oh, yeah, cool, and, then, cool. and then I'll also add, um, last year, last year, unfortunately, like I had a bad moment in my, well, I had several bad moments, but I unfortunately got in, into an accident. It was my fault. Wow. But, in, but in that moment, like, like when the impact happened and, the, and there's the ringing and, and, and there was another moment and stuff, but the, it's time definitely stood still. And then, like post accident, luckily no one was injured, and really your perspective on the world really changes, uh, mm. in the sense that you feel grateful that a that you're alive, mm. b, b nobody was injured that could obviously seriously impact their lives and the people they love, and then also you in other circumstances through financial um, impact and that's uh, that sort of thing so I, mean, I guess what i'm trying to say is being in a car accident when the circumstances could have been differently and you may no longer have been walking on the earth or you could have killed someone like it makes you appreciate the circumstances and the circumstances being that that i hit someone that um that had a really brand new vehicle that was really sturdy and I also had a really like high, safe vehicle that absorbed all the impact. So I only walked away with a couple of scratches, even though all the airbags went off and the, the vehicle that, that came like hit me at probably like 80, 90 kilometers an hour. Right? 
And what do you think that was? Who do you think was watching over you? <laughs> I've shared. I've shared. <laughs> That's okay. You don't have to ask that. I was just curious, but um, like it's good that you see. Obviously, from what you said there too, you're thankful. You're thankful for. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll agree with you to the level that I I just explained about how my perspective and fortune or like how, like however whatever you want to classify that as. Oh, there was there was there was, there was, there was good fortune hanging over me in that particular moment, which prevented a mistake that I made from being far more, far more, like, I guess, impactful, both mm -hmm. personally and to the other person and future, I guess, right? So, mm, totally, yeah. yeah. Crazy. Well, I'm glad you're okay, Mike. That's, geez, wow. Yeah, yeah. 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 like I say, it just, just changes, uh, I guess, your perspective on life a little. Bit. I'm not perfect, but it almost teaches you to appreciate what you have and be like, my life's really not that bad, even in this social uh, distancing and uh, that's uh, that sort of that sort of thing. People like I'm like, oh, when will I get to physically hang out with my friends again and stuff? But then every so often these moments flash back through reflection, and it's like, ah, I'm lucky to be here. Wow. That's really like uh, good on you for like learning from that, and it's really interesting that like humbled you. That's really cool. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, man. Do uh, so as we come towards the end of the episode, which it's been it's really it's really it's been, it's been my favorite episode like on on record for. Wow. Uh, I think we're taking it to the next level with our like connection today. Yeah. Is there any is there any closing thoughts that you've had on what we talked about before we wrap up? Uh, good question. Uh, you'd have to remind me <laughs> if there's anything that you wanted to. Is there anything that you wanted to ask me before, like that no, maybe uh, I didn't answer? It? Maybe I didn't answer it clearly, or no, no, no. Uh, there we talked about you your film and how you how you went from a really dark place and if, and if you go back to the I don't know if you saw but like when I put up the post that you were coming on the show I'm not going to name the person but if you go look you'll be able to like see like like who it is and I, I do know them personally because I used to work with them like they, they resonated with your story and when they wow. were compared to your own life so if you want to go, go go back and hit on that person, because I'm sure you'll have a good conversation. Cool. Oh, wow. That's really cool. Wow. Amazing. Uh, so before I want to go, you know, Mike, I just want to thank you for this opportunity. Like, we've been talking. Like, you're such a cool dude, man. This is cool that we got to connect. All right, this is super cool. Uh, when you come to Kelowna, too, we'll have to hang out if you, if you come to Kelowna sometime. Absolutely, man. Awesome. Um, uh, this and is... Oh, here's a true story. Like about about a year, what was it now? It's probably like a year and a half ago. Yeah. I was actually going to move to Kelowna. Yeah, yeah. Like, like legit, but then the circumstances uh, didn't line up. So who knows what the uh, the future holds? But definitely, man, we'll we'll we'll, we'll make something work, and let's keep talking. Um, and so one thing I want to say for people watching this is like, if like. The main thing I can say is be yourself, no matter the cost. Be Just nice. be yourself. And it's it's a lot harder to be yourself than to be someone you're not. That's so, very uh, true. Yeah. Yeah. And it t it's, it's courage, right? It's bravery. It's uh, people, like, the reason why when we see people being themselves, we feel that feeling. We're like, we're, it's, it's like, oh, like you just feel that. And it's like, that's just because they really did have to be brave to show you know the vulnerability of who they actually are um so yeah just be yourself no matter what and you know it's like confidence right i want to say confidence we didn't talk about this that much but like confidence is so important like guard your confidence like your life depends on it guys it's so important your your opinion comes first theirs comes second don't forget that right it's okay we still have to respect people and we we can uh 
hear where they're coming from and listen to their perspective and point of almost, view. Almost like we did today at times, because we yeah, yeah. everyone has their differences, but if, if you might listen and ask further questions, it helps give you a little bit of a better understanding, even if you might not necessarily agree with all, mm -hmm. all the parts of it, there's definitely more common ground between people of all different uh, backgrounds. Totally, yeah, I totally agree. Um, and yeah, like, yeah, and with confidence though, guys, it's like, that's one thing I struggle with my whole life until now. Now it's like, I will never let anyone take my confidence. I can look in a mirror and I can be proud of everything. And uh, I'm not perfect. I'm not the best looking person in the world. I, all these things, see, this is the thing. When we focus on other people's gifts, right? Then that that's, when we're focusing on other people's gifts, we're not seeing our own gifts. We're not seeing what makes us special, right? Jealousy is huge. And, and I get it. I fell in the jealousy trap my whole life and you know even where i'm at in my life right now if i decide to start looking into other people's gifts and start to get jealous of them it's gonna happen all over again right it's just just remember guys look in that mirror every night look in that mirror you know and one thing i want to say too is like crying is so important cry listen very closely to this guys crying is the vehicle to your destination just remember that okay <laughs> um, and like crying yeah <laughs> like crying though like legit and you don't have to cry in front of people but cry in your room at least you gotta at least cry in your room and it's a good I, crying crying I, heals you it really heals you like laughing crying heals you as well and so another thing i want to say is if there's someone you if there's something you want to do but you don't have enough confidence to do it this is what you do okay you look in the mirror you look that person right in the eyes face that person clearly right in the face and you yell at that person exactly what you want to do so what i did is i wanted to be an actor i said i want to be an actor and i yelled it so loud i'm gonna be an actor i started crying in tears and you just gotta tell that person and the moment you do that you're out of your own way you know you have to face that person in the mirror and come on terms with them when they see what you actually want, then you'll figure out that they're not in your way anymore. It's crazy, but it's true. I was in my way all, my whole life, basically, and now I'm not in my own way. I'm not tripping over my shoes, my shoelaces tied up, you know? So it's like, just face that mirror, face that person, you know, love them, love that person, face him, show him what you want in life, tell him what you want in life, and then you'll get it, you know? You gotta tell that person. It's so important, so important. Everyone is special, guys. Don't focus on someone else's gifts that they have and think, oh, they're more special than me. No, what, whatever celebrities out there, they're just as special as you are, guys. Exact same special. I want you guys to know that. And that's coming from God. He's telling you that, that everyone is special to him. No matter, it's not about what we do, right? So many people always ask, well, what do you do for work? What do you do for life? It's not even about what we do. It's not even about what I do. It's about who we are. It's about being here. It's uh, it's, it's crazy, yeah. But hey, man. Well, th thanks, dude. Uh, thanks so much for being here once again. Yeah. All right, guys. This was uh, another episode uh, of Tea with Mike. Uh, this was uh, Jake. Um, uh, I'm feeling really positive and energetic after our uh, conversation today, which will definitely help me when I go create the introduction uh, for this episode. Uh, but all that's left to say is uh, you'll be able to watch this episode at twowithmike.com. Thanks again, Jake. Thanks for everything, guys. And Mike, thank you so much. Have a great night, guys. God bless. It's the Tea with Mike show.